Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk to you about how to use Excel side by side with Acumatica, where Acumatica is your source of truth for the data. So we're looking at a list of customers here. It's a generic inquiry. We have all our columns here. One way we can get into Excel is simply by clicking the Excel button. This will export it to a file. Once it's done, you'll see that file here in your downloads of your browser. Once brought into Excel, it looks pretty decent. It's got all our column information. If we remove all the security settings in Excel, click Enable, we can now continue to work with it. Now, notice at the bottom of the screen, there's parameters. Why do we need parameters for this? Well, in Acumatica, if we go back to our generic inquiry, You'll notice there's really no parameters here at the top of the screen, but with inquiries, there can be different parameters where you can select options at the top and they'll filter the record set below. So if we go back to Excel, you can see that there's not much going on here, but any parameters in that inquiry screen will show up here. The question is why? If we go back to data and we look at this and we go back to Acumatica, and maybe we make a change, we'll take this customer and we'll make them active. We'll save it. We'll go back to Excel. We'll click on data. And then we'll click on refresh. When we do that, Excel asks us to log in. We'll do that now. And notice Excel pulled down the latest data set from Acumatica. Now, it changed the font. We lost our heading here. We didn't lose our heading, but the font we lost, we change it back to white. We can see it a little bit better now, but you'll notice some things changed, but this is definitely useful for getting Excel data to get the latest from Acumatica. But there's also another way. If we go back to Acumatica, looking at our customer list, we go in and edit our generic inquiry and there's a lot of videos we have on editing and, and creating generic inquiries. We won't go into too much detail except to say that there's a checkbox here for expose via OData. We check that box. We go back to Excel and we'll just create a brand new blank worksheet. We go into data. We select get data and from other sources and we choose OData feed. The first question asked is, well, what's the URL that we want to connect to? If we go back to Acumatica and we select our URL here, we paste it and then put after it slash OData. We click OK. Excel's going to want to know how we're going to log in. And that's a basic authentication. We'll put in our username. If we have multiple tenants, use an at symbol and the name of the tenant afterwards. I only have one. We click OK here. And Excel is going to ask us, well, what data set do you need? There's a list of generic inquiries that all have OData turned on. We'll select our customer. We'll click load. And you could see Excel's brought in the data from Acumatica. Now, if you hover over to the right, you'll see your connection information, the different columns. But what if we need to make a change now, just like before? So we have ABC Studios here at the top. The customer status is on hold. If we go back to Acumatica, we open that customer up. We change the status to active, save it. We go back to Excel, and once again, we click on Data, click Refresh All, and you'll notice that it'll make a change. Very quick, quicker than before, and it doesn't mess around with the formatting. So that's it. That's the way you can use Acumatic and Excel side-by-side -side using OData. That's the recommended approach. 
If you're in a bind, you can certainly click the Excel button and export the file and use it that way as well. But we talked about OData and how to connect to it. And you could use it for any inquiry screen that exists in Acumatica. Or you can create any inquiry screen and use that as your data set in Excel. So hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.